welcome back to my channel hello everyone i hope you all are having a wonderful day i just want to say my little mantra thing thank you so much for watching thank you so much for subscribing for supporting um, as you can see my ch my channel is very much new just started like over four months ago and to um excuse me for the background noise it's it's what it is right so Again, thank you so much for um, supporting, subscribing, liking, sharing, whatever you're doing, um, you know, to help support my channel. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it because, um, you know, it's slowly growing and I couldn't have done that without you. So my heartfelt gratitude and love for you um, for doing that. Okay. So I want to welcome you today. Um, I hope everyone is keeping well. And, um, you know, if you ever need any help, um, please do reach out to me because I'm a coach. I'm very, very much happy to give you some free coaching. Um, you know, if you really need that help, I am here to assist with that. So don't hesitate. OK, you can um, you can reach me on my socials. Um, it's in the description. And also you can book a free discovery call with me and I'm more than happy to help you. Um, you know, this is my service to you to say thank you for your support, your help, your appreciation. Okay, your support and my appreciation that would be. Okay, so today I want to talk about managing dis uh, distractions, and uh, I have prepared some notes because that what it was at that time it was coming to my mind, and I said, hmm, I need to make note of this, and. Um, uh, together uh, with uh, some wisdom that I got from this amazing book. All the book of, that I'm reading are amazing. Um, the Urban Monk, I did mention this in one of um, my videos that I was talking about the time, com time compression syndrome. So some of these, um, you know, that I was, as I was reflecting and these things were coming up, I was making notes and I was also, um, you know, applying that uh, wisdom or that exercise that I was learning from the book to my life as well. So I wanted to share with you, I said, why not share it? Because who knows how many people are facing the same situation, all right? So it's talk, like I said, it's managing distractions and we all have it. Tell me if it's not the phone, it's if it's not the sweets, if it's not the guys, if it's not the girls, something distracting you. If it's not the TV, the noises sometime. Um, but what is distracting you, or how can you help? Um, you know, start taking little steps to um, help you manage it. And I'm not saying completely get rid of it because we can't. At some point we will still still have a little bit of direction even even if we have done a lot of work but um, I wanted to talk about how we can begin to take steps to really counteract um, those so the first one like I said I, I've um, prepared some notes um, based on what was coming up at that time for me and um, the first one I want to start off with is have a plan the night before and you know before the day starts there's an evening and this is something i learned at the start of my personal growth journey um, uh, evening routine and a morning routine and it's so important for us to have a plan be the night before or we call it the evening evening routine to plan what we want to do for the next day and feeding it to our conscious mind at that time so then it becomes subconscious when we head into that other day and uh, oh by the way i did a video on uh, subconscious and um, conscious mind you can go check that out it's in my um it's in my videos but i can link it in this video for you if you do want to check that out um so it's come it's coming back to uh you know what you feed your mind so once you have a plan some people like to have it you know I'm gonna plan this in my mind and that's it but it does not always uh, is is as uh, concrete as when you put it on paper uh, so what you want to do is you want to have a 
plan before the, the even, evening, okay, or the night before, what you want to do. And this is something I used to do at the, at the beginning of my personal growth. I used to write a lot and, um, you know, write, have a list of things that I wanted. And, you know, as I progressed and over time, I realized that it takes some time, but I'm, you know, I'm most of the time I am on my phone because that's where most of the work I does lies on. So I usually, um, you know, use the tools that is in my phone to help me plan. And that is like a calendar. You can use the calendar in your um, phone or you can use the Google one. There's a Google calendar. Um, you can download things like Habit Tracker or planner um, there are so many things you can take advantage of and you can start to plan um, for the day ahead so that's one have a, an evening routine have a plan before the night before um, you know the day and also consider uh, writing things down that you want to complete you know, just, just don't go write 10, 10 things that you want to complete for tomorrow. Start small because it's important for us to, uh, you know, if you have 10 things, what are five important things or that are a priority for you to get done tomorrow? So make that list, you know, from this is priority, second priority, third priority, then the, the one with the least amount of uh, attention or focus or energy Put it at the bottom so at least you get five main things that you needed to complete in that day so that's the first one the second one is turn off or put away the things that distract you now for phone if you're not disciplined enough i would recommend that you use your paper and your pen or your pencil or your notepad or whatever you're using um, but if you find that your phone is a problem and it's a huge distraction i recommend that you don't use that okay uh, until you have grown or you have been able to discipline yourself then um, uh, uh, you can go ahead and take advantage or not take advantage but use those uh, apps and tools that you have in your phone to the best ability okay so put your distractions away if, if it's your phone that is distracting you or someone is calling you or your friends are pestering you not pestering <laughs> they're always texting you for something or just want to chit chat turn off your phone put it away put it out of sight um, you know that's that's how we're gonna get things done if you know if chocolate is your your thing that you wanna or sugar then stop going to the confectionery section of the supermarket stay away from it um, you know, stop buying unhealthy uh, snacks and buy, um, you know, natural sugar stuff or maybe um, something healthier that would replace candy or chocolate, whatever you're, um, you are trying to stay away from. So you can improvise with your distractions. Like, for example, if, you know, TV is, um, it's a big one. I don't watch the TV, but the TV is there. Um, what you can start to do is unplug it. So if you find yourself sitting down on the sofa and, you know, you have the remote is right there and you can turn it on and, you know, you're distracting, f distracted by it for a whole, whole hour. What you do, unplug it, hit the remote, something, and that would you know, you would have to take some time to go turn it on and all of that. So that's one way. Um, another way is that if you want to start, uh, you know, exercising, set an alarm. Um, have your little alarm clock and, you know, set, set that alarm, put away your phone. Um, say no when you have to because remember to put yourself first because you matter first. And yeah, so that's that's the second one. Put your things, put the things away that distract you. Turn off the things that is, you know, being that hindrance in your life or causing you to not progress. The third one, um, another thing before I go on, I want to mention is that, you know, when I say turn off the phone, I'm not saying turn off the phone for 
entirely uh, the entire day because we might have emails and all these kind of things. But have um, consider being proactive. Check your um, your emails at a specific time in the day, maybe nine a.m. in the morning or eight a.m. Maybe two to three times. You set at specific time. I'm going to check my my social media or my email, or I need to, you know, I have a, a meeting or something like that. And the more you set yourself those boundaries, then it's, and you make it a habit because you can't do it one time. You have to be consistent. So be consistent in what you're doing. And um, also, if you are finding yourself, if you're working in an in a office space and you're finding yourself constantly being distracted and you need to ground yourself then go my best recommendation is go take a walk in nature go um, spend some time out there and just let go of the devices let go of the humans <laughs> and uh, in, immerse yourself in, in, in nature in the natural flow of life the third one is meditation and I'll be doing a meditation very soon uh, a beautiful meditation and very simple one that I learned from the urban monk. So meditation is a lot about being mindful, not about being sitting still, eyes closed, um, you know, like that. It's being mindful, it's being aware and you know one of the key things we can use is our breath or the most key thing, the most thing that we have always have with us is our breath and nature is another one as well so uh, if you find yourself being distracted or being interrupted or being agitated or being disturbed by incident in your life or situation that's going on what you can start to do um, is being mindful practice some meditation um, you know sit still um, not sit still sorry Focus on your bread. What am I saying? Sit, sit, sit still. <laughs> okay. So um, focus on your bread. Take, um, you know, away from that energy that is bothering you or distracting you in this sense is that move away from it. Spend some time with your breath. Really try to clear the mind and imagine you know it's blank and you're breathing and you're really allowing yourself to be centered with your breath right because that's the most powerful tool we have with us and the more you do that the more um, you will be away from making those re reactive decisions okay so distractions can be in, in many different ways. It could not only be as your phone or some sweets or something like that. People can be a used distraction to us. Situations can distract us from our goals, from our dreams, from things we would have planned. So it's all about how you bring back yourself to the moment, how you really cleanse your, your, your mind, reground, recenter, and um, not let it affect you or things go on the other side all right okay so the next one is set yourself small goals start small start baby steps that's what we say small steps one of the uh, mentor that I had at the beginning of my journey he says small steps big priority so I always love starting off small and this is something that works for me and give it a go if you know if if, if you want to start reading reading is one is, is a prime example of it reading wasn't my thing I started off small note I'm reading like a book a month I can't believe that <laughs> anyways so the point is here is start small if you want to start meditating if you want to start doing yoga if you want to start stop eating chocolate don't go say oh I'm not gonna eat chocolate mm -mm. if you are eating uh, three bars of chocolate or maybe five by five bars of chocolate start taking um, 
two instead. Limit yourself. Okay, I'm going to have two. Or smoking. Or whatever the case is. Um, start to really take small baby steps and uh, build yourself. Build the way uh, step by step. It's like how you climb a stair. Simple as that. You don't stay at the bottom and you jump to the top. You, you have to take baby steps, little steps. Step, 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 and you then finally you get to the top, okay? So that's the fourth one. Then the fifth one is having visual reminders. Um, I think for me is visual reminders is such a powerful one and it, it really helps. It, it helps to an extent where this thing is constantly in front of my face. And that is one that I, you know, vision boards are really good for this. But uh, for setting small goals, as we spoke in our um, previous point, um, you know, if you have five goals that you want to complete for today, then have your little sticky pads um, and you stick them on your computer, or on your desk, on your refrigerator. Um, really use the best you way you can maybe your screensaver can be one maybe your um set a reminder um things like that so you have a visuals and you know when you set that reminder it pops up on your screen okay a reminder a visual reminder i need to take a break i need to um have my lunch or something like that um so learn to have visual reminders it's it's like it's like your computer is a brain, right? You, your computer is a brain? Your computer is a brain. Your brain is a computer. What's wrong with me today? So I'm saying that you, what you see is what you remember. And so your brain is like, you are literally programming your computer, which is your brain, to remember or to store that information that I need to get this done. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I think I'm, yeah, a little tired. And finally, the last one is unplug, de detox, detach. You unplug those devices, those appliances, you detox. Just like how we detox our physical body, we can detox our, um, our mental body as well, our psychological mind, um, and detached. I'm not saying go become a monk or a sadhu or, or you know a sage or anything like that. I'm saying that you just detach from the regular things you do on a daily basis. So set yourself um, some time or maybe if you can a day aside to go do something that you don't usually do. do. Maybe hiking, maybe uh, biking, maybe camping, maybe... Do something that you don't usually do. Just for that specific time or day, you are um, setting yourself, okay, this is how, what I'm gonna be doing. Put away all the, the screens. Just, just leave them, put them where you can't see them. That's my best advice, is that you don't bring them along. I know we like to take pictures. Maybe take your camera instead. Take your camera instead. Um, and consider uh, spending time with a friend, spending time with a family uh, member, spending time with your kids. Um, it's perfect because it helps ground us and uh, rejuvenate our energy with the, the infinite um, nature. And it helps us tap into the source of infinity, the abundance that lies r around us because, you know, um, I'm very much impacted and influenced by this beautiful book that I'm reading, uh, The Urban Monk, and um, it te teaches us a lot about the modern day life and what's going on and how we can start to begin to um, really reconnect with the flow of life and drink from the infinity. So that's the final one. You remember to unplug, detox, and detach. and um, that's it guys that's how we that those are some of the things that we can do to manage our our distractions i hope this helps um 
i will see you in my next video thank you once again for watching stay blessed stay safe and i love you all bye for now